this video, the five with the most powerful properties. Don't miss our number one in particular because that was used to lower creatinine levels by 18.3% in just three months. Catherine here, before we begin, I want to congratulate you. 2022 is almost over and I've uploaded almost 200 videos this year. I know that some of you watch all of them. But either if you follow me regularly or if this is the first time you watch one of my videos, remember, you are doing something incredibly important for yourself. And there is one thing that's crucial if you want to win it. You need to take control. You need to get informed like you are doing and you need to take the right decisions for yourself. People that take an active role in their decisions always have better overall outcomes. Science says that. And you could be watching a movie or some TikTok right now, but you instead choose to watch me. So congratulations. Remember that you are the one that's making a positive difference in your life because there have been significant steps forward in the last few years in the treatment for a disease that was once considered not curable. So what we are going to see today are five teas with medicinal properties. But you don't need to start drinking all of them. You see, each one of these teas has incredible therapeutic properties. And while all these preparations are safe and tested, I recommend you consulting your doctor if you want to try any of these teas. So let's start with an herbal tea that I especially recommend to those suffering from diabetes or inflammatory forms of kidney disease. But don't let the fact that this tea is our number five fool you. This is an incredibly powerful preparation. Very recent studies found out that combining these exact ingredients can give you incredible results in terms of diabetic wounds healing. It can also help improve the glucose and lipid metabolic disorders. And most importantly, this recipe can make the kidney function of patients in stage 4 of CKD go up by 12.4% in just 3 months. Number 5. This is the astragalus turmeric tea. Let's see how to make it. First ingredient is astragalus, one of the most powerful herbal remedies on earth according to science. Studies say that it can lower blood pressure and improve heart function. It can lower blood sugar levels and treat diabetes. It restores kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. And astragalus is even more powerful when combined with certain other remedies that work in synergy with it, including Remania glutinosa. It was tested in combination with astragalus both in CKD and in diabetic patients. And there's a study in particular in which this remedy was proven able to heal diabetic wounds, but only when combined with astragalus. Next ingredient, juniper berry. These berries you see here are a powerful stimulant for the kidneys and bladder. In combination with astragalus, this ingredient is especially powerful against swelling. Next ingredient, turmeric powder. Combining curcumin from turmeric and astragalus could improve the glucose and lipid metabolic disorders. Turmeric is incredibly powerful against CKD because it blunts the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that lead to kidney disease, according to studies. Allow the tea to cool and our kidney healing tea is ready! Okay guys, our number 5 was an awesome herbal tea. I think you're gonna like it. What? It can really make a huge difference for people with diabetes and kidney disease. But what if you want something that can help you without having to prepare it? A tea that you can buy at the grocery store maybe? Our number 4, let's see it! 
Number four, hibiscus tea. This beautiful herbal tea is made from the dried part of the hibiscus plant. It has a tart flavor slightly similar to cranberries and can be enjoyed both hot and cold. But you won't be drinking it for the taste. This tea can actually lower your blood pressure. A review of studies found that hibiscus tea decreased blood pressure by an average of 8 over 3.5 millimeters of mercury in all test subjects that drank it. And guys, I can't stress enough how important it is to keep your blood pressure under control naturally if you want your kidneys to improve. Because even if blood pressure medications work, they come with a lot of unwanted side effects. Very common blood pressure pill can even damage the kidneys. I've explained who is affected by this in my video up here if you miss it. On the other hand, Keeping your blood pressure in the right range with natural remedies, diet, and healthy lifestyle choices comes with a lot of extra benefits. And yes, this is a tea you can even buy at the grocery store. So while it doesn't have benefits comparable to the other teas of this video, it's still a very valid choice. Time now to see the three most powerful teas in the world when it comes to kidney health. Our next entry in particular can be used to fight proteinuria. Proteinuria is an extremely important marker of kidney health. It's actually a predictor of kidney function decline. When there is too much protein in the urine compared to what's normal in the stage of kidney disease you're in, it means your kidney function is going to decline fast. So you may understand why I'm so interested in a tea that actually fights this issue. And well, in this study, this herbal remedy completely suppressed proteinuria in 14 patients. Interesting, isn't it? Let's take a look at what remedy they used. Number three is reishi mushroom tea. This is a tea made with just one ingredient, a mushroom with medicinal properties called Rishi or Ganoderma lucidum. It's a 100% natural remedy widely used in many Asian countries for treatment of many diseases including high blood pressure and diabetes. It has recently been approved in Japan as an injunctive treatment for cancer. And most important, this mushroom has a powerful effect in protecting the kidneys. According to recent research, Rishi protects and repairs the outer membrane of the nephron, the filtering unit of the kidney. This is what the study on people suffering from proteinuria, an important marker of kidney disease, found out. Incredibly, all the participants of this study had significant improvement in kidney function after the treatment, they had no more proteinuria, which is amazing! That's great. First step here is to find Rishi mushroom from a reputable source if you don't have a nearby herbal shop that you can trust. To make tea with these mushrooms, first we use around 5 grams of Rishi and 5 cups of water. First, bring the water to a boil. Use a ceramic or stainless steel pot, don't use aluminum. Reduce the heat and add the mushroom. Simmer for 2 hours. Remove the slices and enjoy! Remember that you can use these slices to make more tea or as ingredients in your cooking. And you should know that this remedy has also many other benefits. Other than treating cancer and kidney problems, Rishi is also known to help with cholesterol, preventing heart disease, treating infections, especially those in the urinary tract, and to fight inflammation. Okay, time for our number two now. This is my favorite of the bunch! It's a remedy I use basically every day. I really love its taste and its powerful anti-inflammatory and energizing effect. But the reason this one is our number two is another. Patients with diabetic kidney disease can benefit from a huge drop in creatinine levels when taking this remedy. I'm talking about Panax Noto Ginseng Tea. I love ginseng, it's a great alternative to coffee and it makes me feel great. But ginseng was firstly used as a remedy. It can boost blood flow, which is an amazing way of improving kidney function and lower cholesterol levels according to studies. And those suffering from diabetes in particular are going to get incredible results. 
And while you can take ginseng in supplement form, drinking the tea made from the whole root is my preferred method. You see, there is more in ginseng than what the extract gives you. I can't believe I didn't know that. Now, dried ginseng is very hard to cut, but if you boil some water and steam the ginseng for 5 minutes, it will become very easy to cut in pieces. Ginseng pieces need to soak in cold water for 2-4 to four hours before making the tea or even overnight. Now they're ready to boil. When the water boils, reduce the heat and let simmer for about 1 hour. Strain the ginseng, saving the water. This is our first decoction. Add another batch of water and repeat for the second decoction. Mix the first and second batches together. Keep the decoction in the fridge and drink within 4-5 to five days. At this point, the root may be chewable so you could eat it. Now guys, that's an impressive medicinal tea. No doubt about it. That's a great tea, baby. But our number one is even more impressive. This is the remedy that was used on 98 patients to lower creatinine levels by 18.3% in just 3 months. This is number one, Cordyceps tea. Cordyceps militaris is one of the most impressive remedies you will ever see. In a review of 22 studies on it, published on the Cochrane Library, almost 1,000 CK patients were found to have significantly lowered their creatinine levels. These participants greatly reduced their creatinine levels, reduced proteinuria and also hemoglobin and serum albumin levels. This basically means an all-around improvement in kidney health and kidney function. So ready to try it? Let's see the perfect way of brewing cardiceps tea. First of all, we need 250 milliliters of water. That's about one cup. And also, we want to use dried cardiceps, five or six fruiting bodies. Keep boiling cordyceps bodies in water for one minute. Now after one minute of the hard boil, put the flame at the lowest setting, cover the vessel with a lid and let it simmer for another 15 minutes. Science says that it is best to brew the dried mushrooms for 15 minutes covered. This amount will brew a potent 8 oz cup of tea. Serve and drink your refreshing cordyceps tea, preferably after breakfast and lunch. And remember, never throw away the bodies. Eat them or toss them into your meals or soups since they are incredibly rich in vitamins and nutrients, great for a renal diet. And if you want to know what vitamin-rich superfoods are a must in a kidney diet, watch my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.